So just a few minutes ago, we were hearing here on BBC Radio Jersey about the vindication for the Hillsborough families after uh, the 23-year struggle. Well, Neil from St. Clement has given us a call on 720-255. That's 720-255. You can do that too. Hi, Neil. Yeah, morning, Kerry. Thanks uh, for letting me on. Um, oh, thanks for coming on. Yeah, what can I do for you today? Uh, just like to say, um, first of all, uh, R.I.P. Um, the the victims and everything of Hillsborough. It was, yeah. a, it was, a, it was a, a huge tragedy. Tragedy. Um, and I'd like to say it's uh, a mirror image of what went on with Hillsborough and the media um, to what's gone on, in my opinion, with the Jersey child abuse and the media. With the Hillsborough thing, as in with the Jersey child abuse um, tragedies, the, media, the, the mainstream media, professional media, didn't question the party line. They just repeated what they were told. And it's been the exact same thing with the, with the Jersey child abuse. When has the media ever um, questioned the party line? When you, uh, when you say the party line... The party line. Well, obviously, it, it, then they were saying that the um, that, that, that there was people uh, urinating over over the victims, pickpocketing the the, the the dead people. It was the crowd's fault. That's what all the media was saying there, including the BBC. Why do you think the media would do that, Neil? Why, well, why, they, in, in what interest would, would that be for the media? Well, it's because the, the, the media don't bother asking any questions, um, particularly in my opinion, in Jersey, they don't ask questions. They so just, it's so it's just laziness. It's, or it could be laziness, it could be complicity. Um, that, that's for people to, to, to make up their own mind. It's one or the other, isn't it? It's, they get given, especially in Jersey, they get given a press release by the communications unit and they just repeat it. You know, they, and just don't question anything. Don't forget, we had the Home Affairs Minister, Ian Lamarco, on the talkback show telling us that 65 teeth fell through a gap in a floorboard with roots still attached to them. Not one of the media questioned that. We had Mick Gradwell telling us that the sellers didn't exist and, and the bloggers have, have proved they did exist. They told us the teeth were left for tooth fairies. None of the media have ever questioned any of this. The only thing the media have questioned in Jersey about the child abuse disaster is how much Lenny Harper paid for a prawn cocktail in a London restaurant. So, you know, I think... It, um, the, the day will come when the truth will all come out, and I think it's got to be uh, shown what the media the media played and what they didn't play. And obviously, the, the media has a responsibility to report what is uh, what we know to be a hundred percent accurate. Well, sixty-five teeth fell through a gap in a floorboard with some roots still attached is accurate, and you've reported that. You said yourself that you heard that on BBC Radio Jersey, so there was a platform for that to be said, although I have to say I didn't hear that conversation. Yeah, but you know, some of the... So you did hear that here on BBC Radio Jersey? Yeah, but some of the nonsense that has been put out, you know, the Mick Gradwell and um, David Walkup press conference, you know, this is, again, it's a mirror image of Hillsborough. They okay, said nothing. They said nothing new. They said nothing different to what Lenny Harper had already said. Lenny Harper had said there had been no murders up a hotel at Garen, or they couldn't prove those, but it was all the exact same. So what I'm saying is that the media have got an obligation to, to just stop repeating everything they're told, because they've been told some complete and utter nonsense, and they just go out repeating it. And, uh, you know, one day the, the Jersey abuse victims will get, in my opinion, will, the truth will come out and they will be vindicated. Don't forget it was in the Jersey Evening Post where they wrote, oh, you're about to pay out millions of pounds of compensation to the victims. How do you feel about that? Turning the table on the victims as if they're the bad people in all this. It's the perpetrators that are the bad people in all, all this. And I think that if the media did their job, instead of just repeating what they're told, none of this would happen. And I think there will come a day, as there has with the, like the Leveson Inquiry, the Parliamentary Select Committee Inquiry, um, and now there's Hillsborough, of showing just how, uh, it, they've shown how corrupt the media is, the unethical, um, uh, how unethical the, 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 the mainstream media is. So, you know, and there will come a day... Do you, do you, sorry to interrupt, but do you, do you feel like the Leveson inquiry is going to come out with, with good results? Do you think it's going to help what you're talking about today? 
Well, the Leveson, if, this, if it is indeed true. The Leveson Inquiry, because every time that they say, because, uh, you know, the, the, a majority of the bloggers in Jersey only deal in evidence and facts and documentation. And as you, as you well know, all this stuff gets leaked to the bloggers and not the mainstream media over here. So, so the mainstream media aren't trusted. Now, but um, the Leveson Inquiry, what the Leveson Inquiry has proven so far is that the mainstream media is not regulated. So do you think the inquiry is going to improve the standards of the media as a whole? Well, I, th th that remains to be seen. I haven't seen the report. I can only go, he hasn't written his report yet. But in the meantime, the, the Press Complaints Commission have already been shown to be a complete waste of time. There's no regulation of the mainstream media. In reality, I mean, on paper there is, but in reality there's not. So what I would like to see is the mainstream media start asking questions that we've been told start, uh, whoever champions the hillsborough victims when this was going on who in the mainstream media it's all right to uh, jump on um the the, the son's uh, case right now but what, what, what role did the bbc play when that was going on what role did the itv play when this was all going on who championed the victims for the hillsborough disaster and who has ever on this island championed championed the cause for the victims of the child abuse not one of the mainstream media have Okay, Neil. Thank you very much for uh, for giving us a call today. You're listening to BBC Radio Jersey. That was uh, Neil Inson Clement who called 720255 in response to uh, the story we were uh, hearing a little bit earlier on vic uh, vindication for the Hillsborough families after the 23-year struggle and the media's role around that time. Uh,